Hello everyone, today's video is about upgrading the software and the firmware of the MB1. I noticed on the Expert Electronic website that there was a new version, 42.8. I did try to upgrade directly in the software, but I couldn't to upgrade the firmware and it stays at 41.8. So you need to update the software at the same time. So that's what I did. But before we start updating the software, I strongly suggest that you save a profile so you can get back your config after the update, like I just did right now. Before you can install the new software and firmware, please shut down the software and then uninstall the previous version of the expert SDR2, like this. Uninstall the software. You will need to close the software first. Sorry about that. This is popping me up for the admin. There you go. Then you go on the Expert Electronic website and you download the software version for the MB1, which is this one. Then you save it or you open it, whatever, what you want to do. After it is downloaded, just click on it, extract everything. Okay. Just like this. Then you will be able to start the installation. Click more info and click run anyway, just like this. There you go. Now we're installing the new MB1 software. It will pop up the admin just like this. Then you click. Yes. Sorry. My screen capture doesn't get it <laughs> when it happens. Then you start the installation normally. There you go. That's it. When completed, it will ask you for the Visual Studio. It will pop up like this. Hold on. There you go. Then you will click on repair and you will have to reboot at the end. Okay. So take a few moments to do, to do the update. Okay. So you can close it and it will ask you to restart the computer. When you restart, it will boot directly into the expert SDR software. It will ask you to update the firmware. So you click yes. Make sure that you don't <laughs> lose power while doing this. You can use the, uh, a UPS if you like uh, to be sure. Don't do that on a cloudy day. Do that on a sunny day like I did. And then the firmware update is updating. Everything went fine. Let's check it out. 42.8. Yes. That's correct. Now you will see that you, you, you don't hear any of my sound card when I do the screen capture because the config, I lost the config. So I go back and recall the profile. And now you can hear my config into the screen capture for the sound. And that's it for the update. Hope you like it. 73.